welcome back um so <laughs> i know i'm behind on my um crystal series videos and that will be picking up here um actually i plan on filming one today that's my plan <laughs> but i thought i would share uh a haul um this past week I went to New Orleans with my best friend and we were there for a week <laughs> and you know I picked up a few things I had to behave because you know I'm not working I'm a stay-at-home mom now so you know we have a budget <laughs> but I did want to share some of the things that I did get and tell you about some of the places um, that I got some of these things from so I'm gonna start with books well, I'm going to start with one book. So, I went to um, Crescent, Crescent City Books. <coughs> and I'm getting over a cold. Um, <laughs> I got a cold while I was out there. I thought that I would get a cold coming back home because of such a change in weather. Um, coming from warm to back to cold. Because, you know, I'm in Michigan now and it's it's uh cold as all get out in Michigan and um so I thought I was gonna get a cold coming back but no I got one going it's like the first my second or third day out there my third day out there I got a cold anyway so neither here nor there so um right near our hotel was a bookstore called Crescent City Books I really believe it was called Crescent City Books and if it wasn't then I will put a correct... Nope, here it is, because I got a little thing in here. Yep, Crescent City Books. And so I'll put this strip up because it gives you their address. And I think they have a website. Yeah, and their website. Um, so they have like a lot of old books. Now this looks backwards on my camera, so I don't know if it's going to come out straight. Uh, <laughs> right ways, you know, when I upload it, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Um, and if there's a way to inverse on this camera, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, it was a nice store. They had like a little exhibit area in the back. Um, some of the history of, uh, New Orleans or maybe Louisiana in general, I can't remember. But they had the most adorable cat in there. Um, this cat was just chill. This cat, this was this cat's home, you could tell. <laughs> But, um, anyways, it's a lot of old books. A lot of old books in that store. But, I got, um, this book. And, of course, it's showing up backwards. And I apologize if it's not going to look right ways. Um, but it's called Never Again, The Burning Times. Pagan, Paganism Revised. Not revised, revived. And it's by Loretta, uh, Orion. And, <clears throat> Um, let me see. I'll just read you a little bit from the table of contents. Um, I was hoping to have a little something on the author in the front of the book, but mm, that's her acknowledgments, you know. Okay, so a brief snippet of the table of contents. Uh, chapter 1 is the introduction, it's 15 chapters, and then there's an appendix, and then you have endnotes and bibliography. Um, so I would classify this as a scholarly book, in a way, um, especially because you, well, yeah, I just, I probably would. Well, anyways, <laughs> uh, actually no, because we're not going to get into that. <laughs> chapter 2 is Gerald Gardner. And the Wiccan Revival. Chapter 3 is Wicca, A Way of Working. 4 is What is a Witch. 5 is What Kinds of Individuals Become Witches and Neo-Pagans. 6 is The Western Spiritual Tradition. 7 is Contemporary Western Magic. 8 is The Transforming Influence of American Gatherings. 9, Growth of American Neo-Paganism from the Roots of British Wicca. 10, the witch is the opposite of the physician. Uh, 11, the craft of healing. 
12. Suffering as opportunity to shape-shifting. 13. Never again the burning times, cultural radicalism. 14. Coming of age. And 15. Is growing up or just getting big. And then the appendix has like a questionnaire on utilization of healthcare by magical folk. And then like I said, you have endnotes and bibliography and index. So... Uh, okay, I'll read just the description on the back. Why do some individuals in American history resort to the magical beliefs and practices of the occult while the majority do not? Contemporary witches say that witchcraft is a revival of the European pre-Christian religion called Wicca. Practitioners of Wicca believe the word believe the world is alive, interconnected, and responsive. To attempts to manipulate invisible occult forces, these efforts constitute their magic, the craft of witchcraft. In the United States, Wicca has become the core of a collection of other pagan traditions, religions, and magical systems. The fascinating, the fascinating ethnography explores contemporary witchcraft from the unusual perspective of self-identified witches and magicians. Readers have the opportunity to learn what kinds of individuals engage in radical thought movements such as, the, as this and view the ideas of witchcraft and magic from the vantage point of those who, process, who profess to be witches and, pra, and practice magic. A description of the demographic Oh my gosh. <laughs> the a description of the demography. It's not demography. And I know that. But I can't think on how to pronounce it right now. I see my battery's about to die. So that's going to be fun. Um, characteristics of the group combined with an analysis of their complex belief system provides insight into the unusual behaviors shared by... Uh, participants in the subculture within American society. So that's what that's about. I can't speak on how accurate information is in here and stuff like that. Haven't read it yet. Um, so moving on, which is going to move us to the next store, this next book is uh, Papa Jim's uh, Herbal Magic Workbook, How to Use Herbs for Magical Purposes in A to Z Guide. And all it really is is description on herbs and you know what they're used for and some of them have drawings of the herbs next to them um, so I always prefer actual pictures than drawings because the drawings to me doesn't help me but um, once you reach the end of the herbs, you then have um, herbal magical herbal recipes. So it has like um, uh, to make baths, uh, spiritual baths, and um, uh, uh, some spells, and like make a money bag, um, things like that to make oils, so on and so forth. So. And then it has uh, a list of commonly used herbs and what they're used for. Uh, not, not like long descriptions or anything like that. So it's a very thin book. Um, and it was like $9.95. So I got that from Hex. Uh, what is it called? Hex Old World Witchery. I want to say that's what it is. <laughs> or Old Style Witchery. I, you know, Hex. <laughs> Um, so, going further into that, let's continue with that then. Uh, okay. So, I then picked up some herbs, um, no, one herb and then some incense. So, the herb I got was Eyebright. And this is what his labels look like. And then it's a cork top. No glue or anything holding it. So some of this stuff I actually had to mail back to me because some I didn't want a chance, you know, because I, I was taking an airplane. 
I didn't want to chance them saying, oh, you can't carry this, oh, blah, 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 blah. So anything that I thought, you know, might be questionable to the airlines people, I just mailed back to myself. <laughs> so anyways, so the incense I got is Witching Hour. It says, Honor the Dark Knight's Magic. And it looks like this. And so his incense are all colored. Um, mainly, I, I guess, to correspond with their intent. Um, I got Child Protector. Because, you know, got to keep the girls safe. <laughs> and then I got um, this Isense. Isense? Isis Incense. <laughs> okay. And then I also got... Um, lodestone food which you know magnetic filings and I definitely didn't want to chance this on the airport going through the machine or uh, their scanning machine or whatever and then I got three pieces of pyrite from there so if you can see that drop one <laughs> oh. all right hopefully I can finish this before this battery dies and if not then I guess. <laughs> um, so, oh, okay. So I also, because I heard that pralines were real big out there. And um, we stopped at an Aunt Sally's store, which they sell this in every um, touristy uh, souvenir shop out there. So this is, I got the assorted one. So this is their creamy pralines. And the assorted one has uh, cafe o latte, triple chocolate, creamy pralines, and the bananas foresta. And all of them are one except for the creamy praline, which has three packs in there. So I got that. And then I stopped at the fudgery and I got my husband some um, peanut butter, chocolate peanut butter fudge. Can't show you it. Because he ate it already. <laughs> and it was like half half a pound. And I think he might have a little bit left. But, you know. So, um, I stopped there. And then I also stopped at uh, Southern Candy Makers. So, here's what their bag looks like. And they do have a website, which is <laughs> on the bag. The website is southerncandymakers.com, and I had gotten, which I have a little bit left, they make fresh, well, it's all fresh, but it doesn't stay long, so they have these uh, pralines, which mine's, you know, it broke apart, um, and they take, to me, they taste so much better when they're hot out the oven. Um, when we got there, and she had samples right out the oven, and they were amazing. Um, but then I got this assorted box of, now it's called, I don't know how to pronounce it, Tort tortoise? They're like turtles. Let's put it like that. They're turtles. All right. So we have all kinds of stuff happening. Uh, batteries still on its last leg. <laughs> and then my memory card got full, so we had to take care of that. But anyways, so I, like I said, they're like turtles. To me that's what I call them they're not quite but they are so cute and I have their pecan um, it was like pecan caramel I'm gonna show you what one looks like um, sea salt oh it was so good the sea salt and I love sea salt on like I love that chocolate caramel and sea salt that that bite of savory with the sweet or salty with the sweet. So good. So, I don't think this one has sea salt in it. I think this is just dark chocolate, white chocolate, and uh, milk chocolate. Which my husband likes milk chocolate. Um, so, he can have at that. And I'll let the girls have the dark chocolate. And the milk chocolate. Oh my. <laughs> and, oh, let me show you the back. So, there's pecans at the bottom. And then, like, caramel and then chocolate on top. And they had some different um, ones. And you can get their sets on their website too. Um, so yeah, their candy is it's exceptional. Um, so moving on now to... Uh, 
Oh, well, since we're, like, not pagan stuff, uh, witchy stuff, um, I had to get new hair, uh, a hair product, because they took mine at the airport, which is, like, why I'm, like, real iffy with the plane, you know, um, because it wasn't a liquid. It wasn't a liquid. It wasn't, like, lotion, liquid. Like, this is liquid. Like, I couldn't understand if they took this. But it was a cream. But it was a very thick cream. Like... You hold it upside down, it's not going anywhere. It's almost solid. Not so quite solid, but, you know, it's it's not moving, you know. But anyways, I guess that constitutes a liquid-ish kind of thing, too. So they took that as well. I mean, they took that. So I had to get a new hair product out there. So I got this Cantu um, Moisturizing Curl Activating Activator Cream. And let me tell you... <laughs> I've, I've seen this around and never really bought it. Not that I don't like Cantu. I do, except for the products, like, it, they're iffy. Like, they don't always like to mix with other products. And I mix product in my hair, you know. I love this. I love this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, moving on. Oh, and so we visited a store it sold natural soaps what's the name of it is it soapstone yeah okay soapstones uh i think that's it soapstones and they have a website soapstones.com pretty expensive to me like this here is twenty dollars however my friend bought a bunch of soaps and i think if you buy like three soaps or four soaps something like that you can get this for half price so ten dollars which she gifted me th with this um what did I pay no I did pay the ten dollars it it works really well filing down your nail in the shine um really well don't know if I would actually pay ten dollars but there's supposed to be like a lifetime warranty on this so anyways um so then the then near us was a grocery store, <coughs> like a mini mart kind of store. And I got this shrimp and crab boil. Not that I can't get this brand around here, but I've never seen the liquid one. I've always seen the one like in the bag, like a, uh, you can make it in a bag or powdery or whatever. Um, so I got this. So whether or not I can get it out here, I don't know. I'll keep my eye out. But, yep, got that. And I also got Gumbo File. Gumbo File literally is <laughs> sassafras. <laughs> Ground sassafras. Um, I love the gumbo I had out there. Amazing. And I want to learn how to use make it myself. So I have Gumbo File. But also, you know, sassafras can be used for magical purposes as well. So I got some. For both. <laughs> then, uh, finally, we went to, um, well, not finally. Okay, so we went to, I guess I'll do this one first. We went to, um, French Market. And there I got this bracelet. And it has like turquoise hair in the head part at this bracelet and it expands it stretches out now dude claimed it doesn't break never breaks we'll see because I'm that person <laughs> but then I also got these earrings for my my daughter because she loves uh, emojis and smiley faces I don't know if that's showing up let's see Okay, yeah, so I got her those earrings um, from a different stand, not the same stand. But from the same stand, I also got this ring, which is the ohm symbol. If you can, there you go, focus. Um, and then we went to, okay, so we stayed at two hotels. The second one was inside the French Quarter. And across the street from it was the Haunted Museum and Pharmacy something, something, something. 
not a pharmacy. It's a witchy store. Um, so I had gotten from there only two things. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I had got I had gotten this a silver pentagram. It's not sterling silver. They have a lot of sterling silver pieces, you know. Um, but I didn't have sterling silver money. <laughs> um, and then I also got this oil. Um, it's Motor City Hoodoo, Hoodoo. Motor City Hoodoo. Crown of Glory oil. And they're... Um, let's see if it focus. Focus. They're... Um, they have uh, testers of their oils. They also have room sprays, um, smudge sprays, and so they have testers so you can smell them as well, which was pretty cool. Um, and they have different oils there too. Um, it was actually a pretty cool store. Everyone out there, I have to tell you, is super friendly. Really nice people. Um, so then we went to... Uh, Marie Laveau's Voodoo Museum, Museum of Voodoo, however you say it, which is a store. Um, and uh, my friend got a few things from there. I just got this. Um, it's a goddess coin. They had like a Marie Laveau coin. They had like a heart coin, heart shaped coin. And then another one. Oh, and a Buddha one. Um, I was going to get the Buddha one, but I decided to get this one instead. Um, so it's a goddess coin. So I haven't decided if I'm going to just keep it on my altar um, or whatever I get my divine uh, my uh, divine feminine altar set up, um, whatever, or there, or I just carry it on me. haven't decided what I'm going to do yet with that. But then we went to um, Reverend Voodoo, no, Reverend Zombies voodoo shop or something like that it says now i believe this is a sister store or a reverend zombie i'm gonna say okay a brother store um to the marie laveau store because they when you go to the website both stores are on that website so that's why i'm saying that so i had gotten a few items from there I got this um, Jezebel root, and on it, it tells you, you know, what you can use the herbs for. So they have quite a few herbs. Um, a good many I decided not to get from there because I can get them from Mountain Rose Herbs. So I only really looked to get something that I couldn't get from there, um, or I n I've never seen there, or might not be readily available there. You know, usually they're like out of stock all the time. You know, things like that. I had gotten this lodestone. It's a big chunk um, lodestone. And uh, I got Hi John the Conqueror root. It's like four pieces in there. Hi John the Conqueror root. And... Um, uh, Beth Root, aka Low John. Uh, okay, so and that's that. Okay, so I got those from there, and then I also got two candles. Um, this one is a road opener candle that I got. And this was a green one. They had a couple of different road opener candles there. They also have uh, candles to the Orishas, uh, as does the Marie Laveau shop. And there's, I didn't really see many other candles except for like mainly Orisha candles. Um, can't remember if they had saints candles, but they did have some statues of uh, some of the saints. Um, and then I got this one, just a seven day, uh, and a seven color candle. Um, uh, both stores had, well, I know definitely the, the Reverend Zombie had, matter of fact, the name is on here, oi, no, it's the Marie Laveau's name, Marie Laveau House of Voodoo, that's what it's called, um, 
so I got those um, from there. They do have a website, and I cannot recall what the website is called right now. So if I remember, I will put it in the bottom of the description box, if I remember. <laughs> um, then we went to, well, we went to two crystal shops. One was right by the French Market, and the other one was in the, the French Quarter. So in the French Market, I got, now theirs was a bit more expensive. They had um, a lot of big pieces. At, well, both stores had big pieces. Um, the first store, this is the first store we went to, Crystal Store. Um, so I got a Rose Quartz Sphere, which was $14 there. Uh, I don't know, can you see? So I got that. And then I got um, this Herkimer Diamond. And I cannot remember how much it was. It wasn't eighteen dollars. I don't remember how much it was to be honest, but and I got that Herkimer diamond. Maybe it was t five or ten. I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't have the receipt in here either. That's because I kept all my receipts <laughs> lumps, so I can keep track of how much I'm spending. So then, in the French Quarter was another store, and it's called the French Quarter Gem and Lapidary. Um, I didn't say shop or anything. So on the here's their card, and they don't have a website, but they have a Facebook page. Um, so here's the card, so you can see, and they have a phone number. And then on the back, which is pretty cool, they have a map of the area, so you can uh, see where their store is at. So their store is uh, where was it? Okay, so right here. So they're not far from Jackson Square. Um, they're not far from Jackson Square. So, <laughs> we went in twice. Um, because my friend had to go back. And so, of course, made me spend more money. Well, she made me spend money, you know what I'm saying. I just have a weakness for crystals. And especially, you come in a crystal shop and if it's affordable, all bets are off. So they have some pretty good priced um, items and uh, a, a lot of big pieces and then they also have uh, a showcase uh, that goes around U-shaped um, towards the back of the store that has different jewelry pieces um, and it's all arranged by color um, so diff different gemstone jewelry pieces arranged by color it was amazing it was amazing uh, my husband and I are, are planning a trip out there in the next few years. We're going to save up because it's going to take so, a few years to save up. But we're planning a trip out there, and I will be going back um, because this store was very busy, so I'm sure it'll still be there. Um, so I got this, and I'm going to use this for an offering chalice. And I don't know what material it is, and I should have asked, and I feel like I should have asked. So I don't know if it's, this is agate or onyx. I don't know. But... Um, this one was eight dollars. They had like a different shaped one too, but I loved this shape. And they also had the bowls, which I'm kicking myself for not getting the bowl as well. But you know, whatever. So, and then I had gotten uh, this pyrite piece. Uh, this pyrite piece. It's this just the wrapping they had on them, and it has the price, which was seven dollars. So I got this pyrite, and um, is that all? Yeah. And I had this little piece of uh, three pieces of lodestone that I had got. Well, I'm not gonna take them out. Mm, yeah, try to get them separate in the bag so you can see. So it's like three pieces of lodestone that I got. This I'm going to use to make a um, oil with. And then, okay, so that battery lasted longer than I expected, so I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but okay, so that was the first trip. The second trip, no, I'm sorry, that was the second trip. So the first trip, I spent more money than I did the second time around. Um, so I got this um 
citrine cluster, um, which was six twenty-five, and it had different sizes, so of course different prices. I got that one, and uh, I got. Let's move that. Uh, I got this quartz uh, point, um, which this was six dollars. They were all six dollars. I tried to get one that wasn't so sharp on the top. Like there were some points that you could hurt yourself. <laughs> they were pretty darn sharp on the top. Um, but they, oh my gosh, the stones they had in there, and they had tumble stones too, like in the middle. As soon as you come in in the middle, it's like this whole big thing of different kinds of tumble stones. And the place was just amazing. And I was just in, I was, you know, I was feeling the place. <laughs> I was feeling the place. Uh, it's definitely a place I want to go back to. If they ship, I would be so thrilled. Um, but I don't know. But I'm going I'm to check out their Facebook and see if they perhaps sell stuff through their Facebook page. I got this tiny little small cluster of amethyst. And can I tell you, I just love this color. It's It was a, a, um, it's a deeper color than some of the amethyst that I have. Let's just see if we can focus. Focus. Okay. Yeah. So it's a deeper color than some of the amethyst pieces that I have. Um, this one was two dollars. I wasn't mad at the price. <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, kinds of stuff to clean up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So then I also got this um, quartz. Uh, and so it, it's on a hook, uh, you know, a piece so you could string it on a necklace. So I'm going to string this on a necklace. So this quartz point, and it's pretty big. Like, look at my hand. Now I do have small hands, but come on. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. <laughs> and this one was four dollars now this is not as smooth or clear as the um let's put it this way so you can see as the point as you can see this this you can feel that it's rough around the edges you know loved it anyway i don't even care so um and then i got You know what? This is what I got the second time. I'm remembering now. Yeah. The first time was the little bit of stuff. <laughs> the little bitty things. Second time around, this is what I got. I, yeah. I spent more a second time around. <laughs> uh, but then I got this uh, hematite or hematite, however you want to say it. I say hematite uh, bracelet. And if I'm incorrect in saying hematite, I am sorry. But that's how I've been saying it all my life. And so it is what it is, y'all. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, it's stretchy. Now, I try to stay away from things that I can make myself. Um, but I really did like this. Um, and, you know, it's spaced out by uh, a set of two um, spa hematite-like spacers whatever you want to call it it's like I said it's stretchy so there you go <laughs> so I got that now I did get presents for the girls and that's pretty much everything that I got you know I did get presents for the girls um, to which I've already given them because <laughs> you know when I came home you know it was it was late they were sleeping and I didn't want to film this video until I had all my stuff. So, um, you know, I had to wait for it to come in the mail, which did not take long. I, we sent it out Thursday, and it came today's Tuesday. So that was pretty good. Um, but they had to have their stuff. 
so um my best friend had gotten let's see she got Deanna a journal she's into sequence she's into the sequence that you know makes a pattern so like you you push it up and it's one way push down it's a different way and she likes to make letters and pictures and stuff in <laughs> in them with her fingers so she got her a journal and I got her a pencil case um same sequence to match the journal and um she got Isabel a stuffed is it a, a, a leopard or a cheetah uh pink which was because Deanna has one um that Isabel is always commandeering so <laughs> got her that <coughs> she calls it a tiger she don't care what I tell her she calls it a tiger so her tiger which she loves um sleeps with at night and everything um and then I bo got both like I said I, get, I got Deanna those earrings and I got Isabel and her Deanna uh oh I did forget something um but I did get I got Deanna and Isabel both um bracelets um I don't really think they're real uh crystals um, it was at an Asian stand in the French market. I don't think they were real crystals because they were like, I don't even know, $2 or $3 a piece. <laughs> so I got them those. But, <laughs> real quick, from another Asian stand there in the French market, I got a uh, set on the bag. <laughs> okay. Um, I got these two pieces, so I got a Jade Buddha, and let's see, so you can see, a uh, Jade Buddha, the Laughing Buddha, and it was four fifty. and I got, uh, this elephant, which I can't remember, wasn't that much, I'm gonna say at the most it was five dollars, I got this elephant, which I love elephants, I love owls, and I love elephants. <laughs> Um, so I got this elephant here, and you can see, it's so cute, and, and he has the upturned trunk, which is supposed to bring good luck, um, in Eastern philosophies, and, um, so yeah, I got those two, so that completes everything that I got, <laughs> that's everything, so, um, a little bit about, we had an amazing time. The weather was great. We walked everywhere. Now they have trams, um, which they, I call it a trolley, but they call it a tram. <laughs> they have trams, a lot of trams you can take. Um, so it's not hard to get uh, around the French Quarter or to get from the French Quarter to the French Market, Jackson Square, things like, well, Jackson Square is in a French Market. Um, and I don't know, maybe I might insert some pictures of some of the places that we uh, went to and ate at. Um, if I can figure that out, <laughs> I might insert that into the video. We'll see. But um, the food was amazing. There was like two places that we ate at out of the whole week. There were two places that we ate at that I was like, meh, <laughs> I wouldn't go back to. Um, one had rude service. Not the wait staff. The wait staff was amazing. Um, it was the hostess. And that's all I'm going to say about that because I think I bitched about it enough to <laughs> to her while we were there. <laughs> and my mom. And my husband. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to say about that. But the service was amazing. People were so friendly. If you seem like you might be lost, there were people that, are you, where are you looking to go? You know, um, the food was great. We ate at Cafe uh, Cafe Beignet, which was great. And we ate at, um, had beignets there. And we had beignets at, of course, had to go to Cafe Du Monde, if I'm saying that right. We had beignets there. Um, that was just great. It was amazing. Bourbon Street was great. Crowded, of course. Um, we went Friday night. The first night we got out there, we went Friday night. It was crowded. Um, 
a lot of stuff was crowded, but you know what? Didn't even care. We rode the ferry. We went to Algiers. It was an amazing time. It was a vacation that I really needed. I feel like my batteries have been recharged. Um, I feel like getting away was also good, not just for my witchy soul, but for my mother-wife soul, you know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, I'm a stay-at-home mom now, and I'm not used to just being, I can't go anywhere, because I don't drive, you know, so <coughs> all day I'm, ho I'm home. <laughs> I'm home. I can't go anywhere. So, supposedly my husband's going to teach me how to drive. We'll see how that goes, but, you know... You start to feel closed in. You kind of feel like, oh, I can't go anywhere. And I, oh, I can't do anything kind of thing, you know. I just feel, I really feel renewed and invigorated by the trip. Um, we walked a lot. One day we walked like, I can't even remember how many steps. It was a lot. Oh, a lot for me, you know. It might not be a lot for a lot of people. I'm just not an active person. Um, so, we pretty much, every day, we walked pretty much most places. Um, so, you know, I, I had an amazing time. And I'm so grateful that she asked me to come along on, with her on this trip. She paid for the hotel and the flight. She's amazing. We have been best friends since we were 11, since we were in sixth grade together. We've been friends. <laughs> We've been best friends. And we go through times, months and months, where we don't speak because, you know, she's busy. I'm, you know, I'm busy with the kids. You know, you, you, you know, if you have kids, you can't be on the phone without, the, da, 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 no matter how much you tell them it's rude and disrespectful to interrupt the person on the phone. Here they come with whatever emergency <laughs> they have in that moment, you know. Um, but yeah, it was amazing. And I want, I'm trying to convince my husband that when he retires, this is the place we need to retire to. To which he's game for, but he said not the summers. He can't do the summers. So we're thinking if we can swing it, having a place or even like an RV or something, um, out there for the, for when it's colder here and we could go out there, man. <laughs> you know, his mom goes out every year pretty much um, out there. So, anyways, I'm babbling now. <laughs> so, I think it's time to end this video. So, thank you for watching and blessed be.